<clears throat> Greetings. Oh, excuse me. My jacket has become disheveled. Disreputable, hmm. but no matter. <laughs> Today, I'm going to talk to you about Boop. about sexuality. It's rather more nuanced than most people would think. Oh! 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 Ah! 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 It's one of those days, loves. Things are just being rather bloody irritating. God! <sighs> right. So, sexuality. It's a fairly broad and complex thing. It's not just as simple as gay, straight, bisexual, or asexual. Those are the four basic sexual orientations, but sexuality is a far broader covering of a person's sexual identity. It covers everything from, well, everything that's in that range, you know? All fetishes, some aspects of their gender identity, it's fairly nuanced. Even within terms of orientation, there is a degree of nuance. For example, the four base categories are not the only categories there are. There are also pansexual and demisexual, which I believe are extensions of bisexuality, one being, I believe, presently defined as an attraction to, a potential attraction to anyone regardless of their gender or sex. Although, I think once upon a time, Originally, the term meant something quite different. It referred to an individual who was attracted to everyone and everything, including zoophilia, pedophilia, geriophilia, etc., 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 etc. Funny, no? How words change over time. Irony, for example, once meant something quite different. I mean, no. It meant the same thing now. It means the same thing now as it always has. It just has a few extra meanings thrown into the mix. But I digress. Pansexuality is, a, I suppose, a deeper variant of bisexuality. And demisexuality is a little more shallow. What I mean by this is, I think, based on what the terms mean, a demisexual being someone who could be attracted to anyone, but only after developing feelings for them, and a pansexual being someone who could be attracted to anyone regardless of anything. Hmm. I've confused my brain. But you see what I mean, yes? 
there is nuance. Within asexuality, there are many different forms of asexuality. Some asexuals find the idea of sex disgusting or unappealing. Some asexuals don't find it disgusting but don't find it intriguing to them in any way and are simply neutral about it. Some asexuals feel a degree of sexual arousal and will have sex but will not have it in as an expression of attraction, more as an expression of well, it's just fun, you know. It simply equates to any other activity, which is curious, I know. Hmm. Some are... Well, uh, there's probably several others that I'm forgetting. So... Within that, there's a great deal of nuance as well. Um, personally, and of, and of course as far as gay and straight go, I think that that's more of a spectrum than anything, you know? I think it's actually very rare for someone to be 100% perfectly at the far end of either end of it, you know? I'm sure that everyone has one or two people that go against the grain, you know? Everyone has some kind of curiosity, I think. With some exceptions, of course. And, in fact, in some cultures, especially older cultures, um, it wasn't really the sort of thing that... There wasn't really such a thing as gay or straight. People simply were. And I think that's very interesting. It may be that our records of such times are inaccurate, or it may be that my source is incorrect. Or, it may be that sexuality does not truly exist. Well, no, it does. I misspoke. What I actually meant is something more along the lines of Monosexuality, not truly existing by nature. I think... well, no, that's not true either. How do I express this? Hmm. It's not that it's a learnt behaviour. It is programmed to an extent, to a degree, it is genetic. To a degree, it is environmental. However, I think that without the environmental factors, it would sort of be. Am I making any sense? Well, I suppose it doesn't really matter if it makes sense or not. There's a good chance I'm wrong about this. But I think, based on what I know of people and of the way they interact with one another, that a person is... Hmm. I think... When you really come down on it, the vast majority of people, because, as I said, there is that curiosity, that small, slight attraction. I think 
through exploration of that small attraction, it can expand, you understand? Again, I might be wrong about this. There is no certainty in what I'm saying. It is simply my interpretation of the data. I think everyone has the potential to become, well, not to become per se, but to develop latent bisexual tendencies into a fully fledged state. I think, yes, that makes a lot of sense. But enough about orientation. Even that being as nuanced as it is, I've spent a good ten minutes talking about it, if not more. Or less. Or something. There is also... So sexuality, as I've said, isn't simply the orientation and then that's it. There's a lot more to it than that. Gender does come into it to an extent. While it's true that a person may have masculine or feminine attributes regardless of their orientation, and that... Well, I don't really believe in gender as categories. I think of it more as a broad spectrum ranging from the masculine to the feminine. And that that spectrum doesn't really apply to people so much as it does to characteristics of people. And that a person may have mostly masculine qualities or mostly feminine, a strong mix. It's very arbitrary what we consider to be masculine or feminine. Naturally, some behaviors are more common in men than women or vice versa. And this is a biological thing. It's um, some of its physical characteristics, breadth of hips and shoulders and such, um, shape of the face, signs of the ears and eyes, all manner of things, hairline, lots and lots of things. Um, but there's also some psychological things, which are sort of to do with the brain being structured very, very slightly differently. So that I think, on average, males may have a better grasp of direction and sense of place and distance and things women, on average, have, I think, a greater tendency towards the creative. But, I mean, these are averages, they're not certainties. I'm getting off topic again, I do apologize. Um, gender does affect sexuality to an extent, but it is entirely separate from its from the orientation aspect of sexuality. It is more closely linked to well I suppose that um heavily mm, uh, the traits of 
having a dominant or a submissive tendency, or both, are often considered culturally to be masculine and feminine respectively. So while it's rather separate from who one is attracted to, it may have a link to how one acts based on that attraction. Are you more coy in seeking a partner, or are you more bold and... Well, I don't really want to say aggressive, but um, assertive, forthright. Do you just step forward and say, Well, hello there, aren't you a... an attractive fellow human? You know what I mean. So, there's that. Uh, there's also... Well, you see, the sexual identity, as I keep saying, and having to keep say again, because it's the only way I can segue into the different things about which I wish to speak... <sighs> ...covers several things. I am squeezing my brain so hard. I'm so tired. So, uh, right, I keep saying this, and I do sorry. I, was, uh, I do sorry? What the hell is that? I do apologize. Um, Sexuality co is a term covering all aspects of one's sexual identity, including, but not limited to, gender, orientation, and psychological secondary sexual characteristics. Fetishes, I mean. A fetish is a part of a person's sexuality. Some are very common, and some are considerably rarer. But I think all should be considered normal to an extent. That being said, um, things like an attraction to animals, or inanimate objects, or to unwilling partners, or to very old people, very young people, etc., etc., etc. These are also parts of sexuality, and as such are not something that can be controlled. What can be controlled is action based on these feelings. Because these things are harmful to other people, or to oneself, or to an animal, or whatever. Because these things are potentially harmful, these actions are illegal, which is logical and just, and I don't really know why I'm talking about this. But it had to be said, it's not a person's fault if they are a zoophile, or if they are a pedophile, or a geriatophile, or I forget the one that means you're attracted to people who are in their teens and the one for infancy. I forget these. One of them might be infantophile, I think, and the other... Oh, I really, I just can't remember. I think it has an M or, a, or an H or something. Ugh. 
these things beyond the person's control. Acting on them within their control. And that is the thing that should be addressed. You understand? I... I'm going to say something rather odd. I think... I respect and admire the strength it takes to bury one's feelings and not act on them because you know that acting on them would cause would cause undue harm to another living entity but of course there is a difference between being a pedophile and a child molester between being a zoophile and being one who engages in bestiality. These are points of contention, no? But it is good to be aware of these things. Hmm. Naturally, it's not something that one can cure. The notion that it could be resolved in a permanent sense likens to the idea that one could cure other aspects of a sexuality. Aspects which are by no means a disease. And yet, these unwholesome aspects... Hmm, what? Can one do but try to control oneself, I suppose? Now this does raise the issue of, well, what's to say what's good or what's bad? To which I respond, it's rather simple, love. Does it harm you or anyone else? Does it harm a living being on a physical or psychological level? No. Then it's fine. Though that being said, we do kill animals. And that's morally debatable. No? Hmm. I'm not advocating bestiality, of course. How depraved that would be, no? It's simply... funny. You know? Well, an animal can't provide consent. That goes without saying. Unless they could speak. If they were sentient and able to speak, I wouldn't see a problem with it. I guess. It would be weird, but I wouldn't see a problem with it. Same thing goes for incest, actually. Just as long as no one gets hurt, you understand. Just as long as no one is conditioned or groomed in any way, it's fine. Really. What any two adults do behind closed doors, that's up to them, not up to us. Provided all parties consent, it's fine. But, again, getting rather off topic, no? Well, actually, I think I stayed rather on topic, to an extent. Uh, another aspect of sexuality worth discussing is the degree to which a person may want to engage in polyamorous activities, non-monogamous activities and the like. Uh, I, I trust you can hear what I'm saying. I feel like I'm being quiet sometimes. 
I'm not sure why, I just feel rather softly spoken today. In case you don't know, I myself am polyamorous. Although I've not yet had a polyamorous relationship. But that's irrelevant. I... I really should have planned this out, but I don't know. I find it's more authentic to do these videos without scripting them. But then they end up all disjointed and weird. Hell, I decided to do this five, ten minutes before I started. And I'm exhausted. I really should have done this a lot earlier in the day, but I couldn't think what to do. I could have sung or something, but no matter. Um, so, yes, back to fetishes. I got way off topic. Um, yeah, some of them are bloody strange, but they're all normal as far as, you know, just don't kill anyone or eat anyone or dismember anyone. That's, you know, it, I guess. Do as thou wilt, and thee do no harm. <sighs> I'm so tired. Um, another thing I want to talk about, which really should be in its own video, but whatever, I feel like I'm on a roll. Extremely clumsy, awkward, clumpy, clumpy roll that is probably going to result in many a broken bone and shattered vertebra as I crash my way down this rocky hill on a sled that is just a thickened sheet of material like burlap I want to speak in regards to well you know what no I'll make a whole other video on that stay tuned I suppose <laughs> I'm exhausted I have to go eat something else. But I guess I'll have to wait. I've run out of things to say! Yay! I don't know how to end this video! Um. Whatever. Just. I don't know. I think it's interesting. How broad a thing human sexuality is. How flexible fluid and such. It's not ever a matter of choice. It's a matter of programming and it's rather complex in what it what causes it to the extent that no one really truly knows the answer. It is arbitrary and is not something on which to judge a person. Discrimination bad. Fire bad. Tree pretty. Um... So yeah, that's basically it. Uh, leave a comment, discuss, in the comment section, discuss, you know, this, to whatever extent you want. Ooh, ooh, bloody hell. 
Um, I think in the next video, I might talk about what it is to be rude or polite and things. This probably wasn't terribly engaging, because I just kind of spiralled and blathered on. I was confident when I did speak, but oh god, no wonder my videos are getting zero, v like, mm, mm, hardly any views. Why am I talking about this? Oh my god, shut up! Shut up, shut up, shut up! Ah! My ear hurts, no one cares! Leave a comment if you found this interesting, if I said anything you didn't know, if you managed to watch to the end of me rambling, please like this video. If you thought it was tedious and I should have more focus and I should probably research and script these videos beforehand, dislike the video. I guess. I mean, I guess I'd prefer you not to, but whatever. It's free country, man. Free internetistan. Hashtag free internetistan from the oppression of meat space berg. I don't know what I mean. <laughs> Uh, I have only 15 subscribers and I need more because I want more people to see this vi these videos I'm making. So please subscribe. Just do it. I don't even care if you want to. Do it. Once I have more than 10,000 and I'm relatively visible, then, uh, then I don't care. Do whatever the bloody hell you want. Do whatever the bloody hell you want now, I'm not going to make you subscribe, it just helps me out if you do. Helps me out if you share it, helps me out if you donate to my Patreon thing. None of you will, and I don't care. But, whatever, I don't want to be one of those people who begs for this crap, I just want you people to be aware that it would help me. I've made this video far longer than it needs to be, and I still don't know how to end it. Ciao!